All right, so the world of physics teaches us about, you know, when you're lifting a load, <clears throat> it tells us that if you lift an object, say a cube that's loaded down from four points, that at any given time, only three of those chains or, or, or load bearing uh, material is, is holding the weight at any given time. And the load transitions between all those, but you have to have all four in order to carry that load safely. So if you try to lift a load that has four anchor points with only three, then at any given time when that load shifts, you, you run into a very critical and a dangerous situation because now only two of what was intended to be four is actually carrying that load. So I say that to say it's much like the pillars of fitness that we have in the Air Force. You have four pillars of fitness for a reason. You see the, the, the highest echelon of Air Force leaders all the way down, you know, basically said that we've got to be spiritually, mentally, socially, and physically fit in order to do what our nation has called upon us to do. If you shortchange any one of those pillars, you put yourself in a compromising situation and you may not be able to carry the load that life throws at you, especially in the transition and the movement of the military and everything that's called upon us. So I ask you, what pillar of fitness are you not paying attention to? Or maybe which one can you focus a little more on to kind of rejuvenate yourself and make you that whole airman that we need you to be? Is it uh, spirituality? Is it maybe your sense of purpose why you're doing what you do? Is it, is it physical? You know, <clears throat> you got all the New Year's resolution, you know, folks going into the gym. Don't be the one that drops out after six weeks. Stay in there. You know, make all those people uh, drinking them protein shakes. Wait for that bench. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself. Uh, our physiologist on base, uh, Kirk Clark, a good friend of mine, gives a fantastic story, borderline testimony about building a fort and protecting that fort and that fort being your physical health and your well-being. You know, if, uh, if you're in question or think that, you know, maybe you need to work on that pillar or any of them for, for that matter, um, hit up one of the resources on base. There's a ton of them. This is your superintendent, Religious Affairs, uh, encouraging you to stay four pillars strong.